All right, guys. So this is for my lawyers. Um, we've been together for five years, and I found out that she's been cheating for the last seven months. And so now, what I want to do is I want to confront her and ask her if she's been cheating with me. I want her to be upfront with me. If she's not, marriage is over. That's it. I'm done. All right. Today we're going to react to a video of a guy who finds his wife's phone, decides to go through the phone and finds out that she's been talking to another man. He's already did his investigation and now he's on the way to confront her to see her reaction. We're going to talk about that and more. Go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. Let's get started. Hey baby. You okay? Hey, so um... Uh, I got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, what? Um, d don't worry about it. I was just, you know, just doing something. Oh, like the TikTok or something? Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so, where were you four weeks ago? Four weeks ago, when? That's, that's like a vague. You question. know, when you went on that vague, uh, you said you were going to, uh, that place, that spot, that little food spot with Raven. Oh, yeah, uh, Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we went shopping. Were you really there? Yeah. I told you that. You sure about that? Yeah. What about three weeks ago with Sarah? Three weeks ago. Oh, when we went swimming? Yeah. Yeah. I was about her too. Why are you acting like that though? Okay. <laughs> I told you this. All right, I'm all right. I'm trying to figure out what kind of TikTok video this is. Yeah, so 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 two weeks ago you were you were going to that spot out uh, a couple a couple miles out with two, Brianna, right? Two weeks. Okay, so we went from four weeks to three weeks. So two weeks ago, two weeks ago, yeah, we went to the spa. That Asian spa was the okay, okay. one I wanted to go to. Okay. Like, it's like that 24-hour one. That's enough. Why don't you just tell me who you see? You can see how nervous she is and she's scared to answer the question. What she's doing is she's beating around the bush. She's trying to stick to the story just in case he may be trying to weave her out. But she's not understanding is that he's already did his investigation already. Hit the like button. I'm not seeing anyone. Why are you asking? That's a stupid question. Who's Rick? It's your brother. I don't have a brother named Rick. Or your cousin or whatever. It's not my cousin. Why are you asking these questions? These weird questions. Because you are cheating on me and I was trying to see if you would come forward and tell Why me like a natural person. Okay, so those messages oh, yeah. in your phone where you were saying, oh, I love you. Oh, this is the best I've ever had. Oh man, I feel sore. Sorry, but after that, I feel sore comment and reading that from her phone, I wouldn't even be confronting her right now. The relationship would have ended that night. That's one of the things I hear, guys. You can never give things the benefit of a doubt when it's right there in front of you. But some people live in that fairy tale because they love the fact of being in love. But think about what he says. Everything that she said to him, I miss you. I'm sore. I'm this. Sorry. I wouldn't be confronting her later in the afternoon. <laughs> Why would you be going through my phone first of all like that like don't change don't phone change phone the subject phone. matter don't the change the subject matter phone, oh, oh you oh, what, what yeah, you trying to do you're extra you acting insecure oh yeah Why are you going through my phone there's no reason to do that well listen when you go through people's stuff you find stuff you don't want to see oh so now you're gonna blame me for this then i'm just saying you didn't need to go through my phone like why are you going through my phone and why are you stop recording i want to stop recording oh my God. She knows she's in the wrong, but she's still trying to turn it around on him. Why are you going through my phone? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? He's doing it because he's going off of his gut feelings. His intuitions is telling him to do that. But some way, somehow, she's going to find a way to make him feel like he's the aggressor and she's the victim. And he's the reason why she's doing what she's doing. This is what you call narcissism. I've always been insecure. You know, you know what? We're done. No what? Like this marriage. What are you talking about? This is from my lawyers. Why I, are you really? Yeah, just you gotta be petty like that. Why are you recording? See, she's trying to find a way to turn it around. He's serious, but one thing that she's already sensed in him 
is that he has forgiven her before. That's why she feels comfortable and she's looking at him like, what are you doing? It's because she's used to twisting his mind around. And you can kind of hear in his heart, he wants to end the relationship, but something about him says that he could be talked back into the relationship. Like if she say, I'm sorry, it'll never happen again. Because seriously, that's what I think has happened before. You can tell by the way she's reacting to things. She's reacting to it like, and so, which means that she's getting over before. So you're going to gaslight me because you want you want to step on the marriage. Five five years in this marriage and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you want to you go fucking cheat. I mean, you always work all the time anyway. She's using that you're always working all the time anyway. When it comes to a man, there's two things with a man. If you give her all the love, then you're going to miss out on the money. If you give your heart to your job, then you'll provide a lifestyle, but you won't be able to spend that much time with her. That's what a relationship is going to deal with. Do you want to live a life or do you want to be broke and in love? And you'll notice that the women that choose the guy that's broke to be in love, she's normally having problems and they're normally addicts. When it comes to successful people, it's always the one that has the submissive wife while he goes and works the long hours. So when she says, you're always working all the time, then he should have never got with her in the first place, which means that she wanted more attention from him than the money that he's making, which is not good because if he's not making enough money, then she makes herself an option for a man who is. Oh, oh so, so it's, it's my, my fault. fault. I wasn't cheating. I wasn't cheating. Oh, so he just slipped and fell onto his dick then, huh? I mean, there's no, I didn't fall onto anything. What are you talking about? There's nothing that you saw. See, she's looking at him like, I'm just talking dirty in a text message. You haven't caught me on camera doing anything. Well, your intentions in text messages are just like doing the real thing if it did or did not happen because the intention is still there. The desirement is still there, which is why him as a man, he has to understand he's on the wrong path. Even if she's in a chat room talking about nasty stuff for attention, she's still thinking dirty whenever it comes to another man and it's disrespectful to him. Like I said, you shouldn't be going through people's phone. Like, that's my privacy. You know what? That's my privacy. You think? Get out. See, you know what? I, I, <laughs> Look at you. Where's the ring? Where's where's the five hundred dollars? Where's the ring in the house? Where's the five thousand dollar ring? Where's the six? Like, stop. You know what? I've came across a lot of these situations throughout my life. And majority of the time, after that five-year mark, that six-year mark, everything has played out. You know, the going to the dinners has played out, the bedroom has played out, everything is old. Whenever a man is getting into a relationship, you have to be able to get with a woman that's going to help you grow, which is why you should not be chasing the woman in the relationship. Because if you're chasing the woman in a relationship, then you're going to have to chase her even when you're married even more. She's just looking to breadcrumb you with anything. As a man, the best advice that I could give you is that you should only be with women that value you first. She likes you first. She adapted to you first. If you go into the relationship simping, you're going to always come across these situations where she's going to get bored with you because it was never a natural chemistry and she gets in a relationship because she feels and likes the idea of the relationship. The only way you can get loyalty in a marriage or relationship, both have to understand each other this value. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the relation. <clears throat> Get in the comments and tell me exactly what you think about this story, what you would have did in this situation. And if you've came across this situation before, comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.